So on our video for how to compute the average of an array in C, there's a question here. Can you do the same, but with recursion? Yes, we can. Let's solve this problem of computing the average of an array with recursion. So the first thing we'll need is a test array. Here I'll say double array is equal to, and we'll just put the numbers from one to 10 in the array. We'll also make a variable called length and set it equal to 10 to store the length of the array in a variable as well. Now the function will look like this. We'll say here double average double a and then int n. And so the function is going to accept the array as the first argument, the length of the array as the second argument, and it's going to return the average of the array. So let's provide a definition of the function now down here. So the way recursion generally works is there's two cases. There's a base case and there's a recursive case, or we could say the base step and the recursive step. And the base step is where recursion is going to stop. The recursive step is where the function is going to call itself. So let's do the base case first. Here I'll say if n is equal to one, return a and n minus one. So this base case is actually going to handle the case where we actually give the average function an array with length one. Because if the array has a length of one, that means it only has one element. And by definition, the average of the array is the value of that element. And that's exactly what we return here. So if n is equal to one, we return the element at a at index zero, because we take one and subtract one, we get index zero. So this is gonna handle that case where we have an array of one element, but it's also going to turn out that this code is going to execute when we call the average function with an array with more than one element, because our recursive step is eventually going to boil down to and use this case here. So let's do the recursive step here. I'll say else return the average of the array at n minus one multiplied by n minus one plus a at n minus one. And all of this here, this entire expression here so far is going to be divided by n. So what's going on here that this will actually work? How is this actually going to compute the average of the array? Let's explain it because it's basically a math problem at this point. Let's assume that this function here will actually return the correct average of the array here for the elements n minus one. So all but the last element of the array, let's say. If we actually assume that, and we can assume that because we know for the base case, that's true. So if we can assume that, let's work out the math for how this is actually gonna compute the average here. So let's say we want to compute the average of an array with five elements. We've got one plus two plus three plus four plus five in the array, let's say. Those are the five elements of the array, one to five. We would divide those by five, right? And that would give us the average. What this step here is doing is it's basically finding this here, the sum of those first four elements in the array the n minus one elements in the array. And we're finding that based on the average and multiplying it by the number of remaining elements. So why does that work out? Let's see. So the average of an array with elements one, two, three, four of length four, that would be one plus two plus three plus four divided by four. That would give us the average here, right? Now, what if we wanted to rearrange this so that we get the sum from the average? Well, that would look like this. One plus two plus three plus four would be equal to the average times four. And this is just some mathematics here where you bring over the division to this side here, and then we get that one plus two plus three plus four is equal to the average times four. 
So here, that's exactly what this is. It's this here. We're getting the average of n minus one elements in the array, multiplying it by n minus one elements. And that's giving us the sum here, this portion. And the last step here is to add in that final element and divide it by n, the total number of elements in the array. So this is basically what's going on here. And this is why this function is gonna work in terms of computing the average. So if we save this here now, we can give it a test. Let's say here, printf average percent f slash n, and we'll put the average of this array with this length. So if we save this here and run it, we're gonna get an average here of 5.5, and that is correct. And that's how we could compute the average of an array with recursion in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.